Hi, good morning, hello. How are you all? I hope you all are good. I It here is, in my house, it's 1226. I just got out of the bed and and it's noon 26. Well, I got out of the bed and then I took a shower and I put on a dress and then I, I showed up here. And so, but I just want to show you, thank you for being here new. If you're new, thank you for being new and don't expect much from here. It's just, this channel is just a little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of nonsense. And so, um, yeah, but I just want to show you what I'm doing and I have a mail. I have mail. When I woke up, I seen on my chair, my husband had brought in mail and I have mail. So that's, I'm going to show that too. But for right now, I'm going to show you here. I had mail yesterday and the day before and the day before that. I, I just get mail every day. I'm being spoiled for my birthday. I think it's today. But anyway, I'm officially 75 years old now. And so here's what I want to show you. Wait a minute. Where's my remote control? Bemote control. Okay, it's right here. I want to turn this like this. Okay, there we go. So now, now you can see, now you see what I see. But what I got in the mail yesterday or the day before, I think it was yesterday. Okay, wait, wait a second here. I, I just have a, a mess. Is this here, these frames I got, which are like a... I got four of these frames, which are like the shadow box. So I measured the backing of the frame and I cut this piece of felt. Now what I'm doing, I don't have anything, nothing is stowed, sewn on yet, but I just, what I decided I'm gonna do because there's four frames I'm going to do the four seasons, just like I'm doing with my books, my my um, textile journals. And so I started stitching these here pumpkins together because they're going to go down here. But so what I did was I got the, um, I just, I have a bare tree. I have the house here with the chimney and I put this wool for the ground. I put these trees here because evergreen trees do stay green all through the, all through the um, year. And then I have, um, these are three pumpkins that I'm stitching. I'm doing the stitching on these and putting them together and they're going to be down here. And then I thought, well, maybe I might use some sequins on here and add the sequins with um, French knots and put them up in the sky. But the sequin colors I'll use will be fall colors. And I think that will be pretty. I may even have some on the trees and just here and there and everywhere. Just all the fall colors of the sequins. So that is what my plan is for this box. Oh, that's not all my plan. Then see this doll peg? It's a clothespin peg. This will sit. I'm going to dress her up in some primitive fall, cl fall clothing this will be and then she is going to sit like in inside the frame in front of the image and each one of them is going to get like I'll dress one up for each season so that's what I'm going to do with the four frames that I got yesterday from my friend Okay. Oh, and I wanted to make sure I thanked, I need to thank Gail. Gail AC sent me a um, Amazon gift certificate. And so I am excited about that, that I can go shop for something I need at Amazon. Okay. So that's that what I wanted to show you. I'll put that over there because I'm going to be working on that. And, um, oh, and then yesterday also... I got this book, this one, this book I got yesterday as a birthday gift. I'm telling you, I'm being spoiled rotten like you wouldn't believe. And which shows the idea of making, making two inch, two inch, um, two inch 
stitch wool stitcheries using the wool making two inch wool yeah that's what it, what it is and so as i looked through the book closer i see that there is things in here for every season so now the books that i'm making the journals that i'm making are um i'm making one for each season so what i figured out in here is that i can get my seasonal let me see wait a minute i go back to the fall ones here they are okay now see here uh, so what i've made here so far is these are the size of the finished items but i can make them whatever size i want i can but this is the size now mine aren't turning like here this is my turkey so see there's my turkey there's my turkey and there's a turkey. that's not too bad okay and then i did the give thanks of course mine is way different but it still says the give thanks it still says the same thing and then this is the tree mine isn't exactly but it's close and then, then oh, I like my sheep though. I think my sheep is is good. I like my sheep. And this was neat because I just used a like a, a round piece of white wool, uh, off white wool. But then I used um, I used the um, French knots. I put French knots all over it. That's what it shows here. And so, and my face isn't really too good, but it's good enough. And then, let's see, then well, here they have Halloween ones too. Um, and then this is my acorns. My acorns are, my acorns are questionable. I think I'm going to make some new acorns. Excuse my thumb. That's, I wore a ring that I guess I was allergic to. Wear it all day, day long. And then here is a pumpkin. So then I have four, uh, six of these made up. And, but I still want to do a couple of, maybe I'll do the Harvest Moon with the Christmas goose. Well, it's not Christmas goose, it's a Canadian goose or something. It's a Harvest Moon. And maybe I'll do these two Halloween ones too. And then that will be enough of my itty bitties to fill one page of my fall book. And then so, but I think that they turned out cute. So if I put them like this way, and if I put three more, if I do three more, then, um, that would be a nice page full. And maybe I'd put the give thanks in the middle and three more. But anyway, that's my two inch squares. Thank you so much, Kansas, for that book. Oh my gosh, I am loving it, loving it, loving it. Okay, now to the mail. Now I'm not sure. Post. Okay. I um, always make sure it's this right. Um, address because we got three families living in this house and I don't want Papa to bring me somebody else's mail. What is this? Okay. Oh, 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 oh. This is one of the things I had on my, on my wish list. And this also comes from, oh, Shirley. Shirley in um, Australia. She sent me this. She's already sent me a couple of, well, I guess she ordered them all at the same time. But, um, um, is she, they're just coming at different times. From Shirley, thank you, Shirley in Australia for this. Oh my God. And this is one that I had on my, on my, um, on my wish list. I think my, all my, I think every one of my wishes have been granted on my um, wish list. Oh my gosh. The, just look at the front cover of this. How beautiful all this dishes. Now this book is mostly using 
um, machine embroider, machine stitches. Stitches that are on your machine. Oh, Lord knows. From simple to stupendous. Oh, gosh, just look at these images. Okay, I'm going to have... She says, I made my first quilt in 1976. Now, here's a quick overview of the stupendous stitching process. Okay, there'll be a um, video in the near future creating a book like Stitch Bible makes it portable and easy to reference. <coughs> Excuse me, that is, that is pretty. And this is all, like, look at this here. This is, and, and this is neat. Just to take a piece of beautiful fabric and just do all your little stitches that you've got on the machine. Preparing your background fabric. Oh, my gosh. I'm, that, can you imagine something like this framed on your wall? That's all machines, your if decorative machine stitches but look at the fabric that it's put on I mean the fabrics beautiful in itself and then you put those stitches on there and like they're not all in a row is straight lines they're all curved or what it is from top to bottom however they get there oh here now here she's showing choosing interfacing and preparing the top layer Oh, gosh. I'm telling you, this is going to be couching. Couching. Couching is simply attaching a length of cord, yarn, or other fiber to the top of your fabric using zigzag stitch. See, I've done couching, but I, oh, I have done it with a machine, too. That's right, with a zigzag stitch. You just put it on the widest stitch possible and then couch things on. Look at these pictures of her threads. Gosh, yes. Oh, and here, these are all couched on then. And so you're couching on different, different fibers. Oh, yeah. Oh, this book is going to teach a lot. Now, I didn't know they had a regular couching foot. That's interesting to know that there's a couching foot. Now, of course, I'll try it without a couching foot, but a couching foot would make it much easier because it'll keep whatever you're couching in a straight line. Hand embroidery. Okay, now this chapter goes into hand embroidery. Oh, how pretty. What art projects. See, I love sewing. I've always loved sewing. And I've always loved, And but at one time, I was sewing just with a pattern. I would sew my little girl's clothes. And, um, I've show, sewn for the boys, too, but mostly for the little girls doing their dresses. And um, But now my little girls are not little anymore. One of them is turning 50 years old the day after tomorrow, and the other one is in heaven, but she would have been 52 in December. Oh, bless her heart. Okay. And so it's been a long time since I've sewn their clothes. Oh, my word. Mounting your work. So there's a little everything in here. Oh, look at that pocketbook there. Yeah, now I like using my sewing machine mainly for art. I'm so into art. Look at how they put that yoke on there. That's pretty. This is pretty. I like that, too. Oh, my gosh. And look at that. These are beautiful, you guys. Oh, my gosh. Well, I shouldn't just spend my whole day going through this book right now, but this is beautiful. This is, I love my books, I'm telling you. When I get a book from the library, I never want to bring it back. Okay, so now, let me put this piece into my dumpster. Okay, my dumpster there. Now, 
here um, ribbon and bows hmm. now I don't know if this might be something I ordered I don't know because sometimes I order oh it is something I ordered I ordered these from the ribbon and well actually I ordered them from Amazon and um, let's see so each one of these these are one inch wool felt circles oh I'm so happy to have these and these will be used in many different ways but I already had a package of this color but I've used almost all of them up because I'll put them, like I'll take one of these circles, the one inch circle, and then I can put it into my, because that will be the center ones, and then even if my circle around it, for making my penny rug um, wagon wheel buttons, um, even if this one around isn't perfect, but by starting with that perfect circle in the middle, it makes it look even more perfect. So these are going to be handy to have around. Now this is something I had ordered myself. Let me see. They came from, I ordered them through Amazon, but, okay. So each one of these packages was $7.75. Which, which anything you get in wool it's just expensive but I um, had some mad money so I ordered these so I'm happy to have these so happy to have these so that is and there's a hundred in there each one 120 128 okay 120 and they're a wool blend okay in each one so this is going to I'll have these forever. I won't ever use all of them up. But there'll be other little things that I will use those little circles on. And, um, okay, so that's that. Oh, and then this, oh my gosh, a box. Tracy Turner, my friend, you silly girl. Now, this is too much stuff. Okay, don't tell me no more stuff, you guys, because I got no more room. I have to buy a bigger house. I don't have no money to buy a bigger house because I spent all my money on um, on those their spots. Okay, so I'm going to open this here box right up. And Tracy Turner. Gosh, she's got beautiful penmanship. We used to have penmanship classes in school. I don't think they have penmanship classes anymore. They just say, go ahead and scribble like a doctor. It's good. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to see what's in this here box. Oh, 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 oh. Wait a minute. Let me put this box. Oh, my word. Let's see. Oh my gosh. Oh. You. Oh my word. Look at this card. Oh my gosh. 2024. Happy birthday. Look at this card. She's got a three tiered birthday cake. Look at these. All that slow stitching on here. Oh, this is beautiful. Thank you so much. Have yourself a great birthday. Love you, Tracy and Larry Turner. And look at look at her penmanship is beautiful. Isn't that beautiful? Gosh. This 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 card is a keeper forever. Oh my gosh, how beautiful is this card? Oh my God, all the work she put into making that, all the little bit, and she's using felt too. See, this is all this fabric is felted fabric. And the bow 
is made out of just threads just threads this bow on the top she's got a butterfly button i love using them buttons and just little scrap pieces is what she's got decorating this cake isn't that beautiful oh here she's got french knots down here oh my and look at how she twisted that she just had a little strip and then she twisted that she's couched on this piece oh my gosh this is beautiful this is going to be an inspiration for real for forever inspiration okay then oh my word Harvest Caramels, Hard Candies, <gasps> Werther's Originals. Have you ever heard of these? Classic Hard Caramel Candy with Creamy Apple Flavored Filling. <gasps> oh my gosh, I'm going to hide them from the world. Well, well, no, I'll share with Pop of it. And then what is this? Herbal Hip Punch Hibiscus Tea. Oh, good deal. New and improved herbal tea. No added colors. This is beautiful. Oh, well, tea is beautiful. Anyway, I love my tea. Okay, and then, oh, she made a sock doll with all her little scraps. Look at Oh my gosh, look at her face. Look at her face and her hair. Oh my, oh look, here I got a piece of her hair right here. And all of this, see, I've made a few of these. She's got little lace. This is made with a little footy sock. You know the little footies? A no-show socks or whatever they call them these days. But every little scrap of fabric just stitched on. Oh, she's beautiful. Look at all those. Oh, and she's got sequins put back here. These are definitely art dolls. And everybody who does them, they come up a little bit different. Look at she's got sleeves. That's she puts regular old sleeves on the arms. Oh, Tracy, you've outdone yourself on that doll. That's beautiful. Now, oh my word. Oh, how pretty is this? This is a pin, a brooch. That's beautiful. I don't know if you can even see that, but you can see the sparkle in that. That's beautiful. Thank you. I love my pins and brooches. And oh my kid, oh. Look at that girl, she had to sit around with her needle and thread. Now look at this. Oh my goodness. This is amazing. Look all, this is ever bit just scraps just scraps of fabric scraps of tin uh, trims and there's a felt heart with a bottom it's like a corduroy oh this is going to be really handy to have right here on my desk look at there I needed something I put my staples in there because I'm using staples a lot I can put my remote control in there and here's my little stapler. Oh, hey, this is going to be perfect just for this stuff. I put this in here until I get my doll made. Look at what a perfect size that is. Okay, so that's going to live right here, always and forever. Because I'm always losing my remote. I can't half the time find it. I'm using a lot of staples now because I'm using it to staple felt pieces together before I sew them. And then, oh, look, there's to be some fall pot holders. Happy fall, y'all. But you know what I use these to, because I don't do much in the kitchen anymore, except go heat up a bowl of something, and then I bring it back here to eat. But I don't want to put a hot something on my mat here, because it'll cause my mat to bubble, and I don't want that to happen. 
so I can use these right here on my mat for when I have a hot bowl of soup or whatever and right there to keep my mat from bubbling up so that's perfect and oh my now this looks like this is a pretty bag now I think she may have purchased the bag let's see no maybe not maybe she did make the bag but I'm going to I'm going to say I think she purchased the bag but then she put with scraps again she's put scraps made a flower pot with flowers and then she sits that on there and she put the year too 2024 oh and TT so I know that's Tracy Turner and in the bag of course is scraps look at this this is like a silky something how pretty these are these look like they come out of us they did come out of a sample book but these are real pretty too oh my look at this that is so pretty that is so pretty Oh, these are going to be so fun to use. Okay, these ones, these ones are the same. This is beautiful. Now see, although I'm using a lot of wool right now, I'm going to be incorporating to make my wool go further because wool is, is, is expensive and my most every piece of wool that I have right now has been um, gifted to me and I want to make it last as long as I can. So I'm going to be using regular fabrics, other fabrics in with my wool. So we're going to not just use wool on my wool projects, but I'm also going to use uh, regular fabrics in there and like with my the book that I got yesterday this one with these small little things there are times that I'm going to find like maybe I'll find some strawberries in a piece of fabric but always they will be put onto wool so I was thinking that yesterday how I will um I will make my wool go further that way. And then here, oh wow. Your wings already exist. All you have to do is fly. And it's a tote bag. I use these tote bags as for a lot of my um, organization. Like I'll have, I like one of my tote bags, all it is is like quilted pieces, just quilted pieces that are not anything finished just quilted pieces or maybe pieces from an old quilt taken apart. And so having them in this bag, they can be on the other side of my room, but then when I want to work on something, I'll, I, I just carry my bag with me and I love them dragonflies. I'm looking at these dragonflies now thinking I need to make a felted dragonfly. Yeah, oh yes. And it's the same on both sides. Oh, and it's plenty wide. Oh, she got this from the Cracker Barrel. That, from the Cracker Barrel. Well, anyway, you can see that, Cracker Barrel. Oh, yeah, so that's special because it comes from the Cracker Barrel. We used to go to the Cracker Barrel a lot. Oh, I'm not finished yet. Oh, <clears throat> I remember when she was making these birdhouses. Oh, here, and she told me that she had gotten the wooden birdhouse from the um, Dollar Tree. No, Dollar General. And so we looked at the Dollar General, and I could not find these. Yeah, made in China. But then she takes this from the that she bought at the Dollar Tree or Dollar General, I think Dollar General, 
and here she she's got a scrap bird look at all of the this bird went and built a nest so the bird went and built a nest by finding scraps of threads and she made this net look at the different buttons the different gems beads all these little things she's got all the things i have to i've got these buttons that says handmade with love and i have some of these felt um hearts and i have these kind of buttons and i have these kind of beads i don't have this kind of flower but i've got these kind of little flowers that i love using you know i might use some of those flowers in the center of some of my wheels and here look at there she's put the air mail the, every bit of this is stitched around she's got all and using all of this beautiful beautiful thread the sashiko thread i think this is the same sashiko thread that um that um it's just so colorful such bright colors lace up on here on the roof edge and a flower at the top and then here she's giving me one although i love that just says our happy place but oh to lizzie from tracy turner 2024 that's beautiful and now i have one to work with and because i couldn't find them this is perfect the thank you tracy you are just Oh, God, I'm not to the bottom of the box yet. Oh, now. This is a drish drying mat. But our friend Cordula, she sent me, she sent me a, um, a pouch that she made with one of the, and this is watermelons. Oh my gosh, my daughter-in-law is into watermelon everything. And so, what, what, what Cordula did with one of these mats, she got one of these mats here, and it's the perfect size. What size is this? It's 18 inches, or... Yeah, about 18 inches by 12 inches. And what she did was she put a zipper, used this, put a zipper here, and then stitched it shut on the sides and made the most perfect pouch. You don't have to worry about putting a lining in there because it's already done. And look at this. But I just noticed that the way this was... Oh yeah, this, this, okay, I got plans. I got, oh, she sent another one. So I have two of these watermelon dish drying mats. Very wonderful. Oh, now what is all of this? Craft fabric. Wow. This is three pieces and they're like two inches wide oh two inch by 36 so there's a yard of each piece in here and look at how they go together so pretty oh my word oh there's my flamingo oh there's my flamingo look at my flamingos I'm doing my bathroom all up in 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 flamingos and now look at here. These are glass stickers, it says. So you put them on the glass. So these will go like on my mirror. Let's flamingo. Oh, she's cute. I love my flamingos almost as much as I love my unicorns. Thank you, Tracy. You just... Oh my gosh, too much. Now here... Is this a, wait a minute, this, is this a, oh, I needed one of these. This is going to, this is a valance. She probably sent it to me for 
to take apart and use it for something else. But I'm going to use it as a valance and it's going to go right here in my room. I got a right there in the, my top in my window. This is going to be perfect in my window. This is going to, yes, because, well, I shouldn't show you over here at my window because then you're going to see my mess. But wait a minute. Oh, if you see that, it's upside down. But see that crocheted piece, that crocheted piece right up there? Well, it's upside down. Never mind. Well, never mind. It's just a crocheted piece I've got hung over the, um, the curtain rod. But this is going to be up there before the end of the day. This is going to be so pretty on my window. And I was just saying, because I just put that crocheted piece up there yesterday, and I said, i got to get a valance to put up there. Oh, gosh, perfect. Jeez, it's like she's a mind reader. Oh, my gosh. And look at here. This matches the valance. These are like placemats, maybe. Mm -hmm. What would we do with them? Well, gosh, you know what? I could actually stitch these together like from here all the way around because there's two and I could make a beautiful pocketbook or tote bag out of them. I love it. Thank you, Tracy. Oh, you are amazing. Oh, my word. Not that I need any. Oh, and then, and then the last but not least in the box is fabrics. Now, I think, you know, I, well, I don't go shopping anymore. But the last time I did go to the, um, Dollar Tree. I looked for fabrics because I know some people, so many get um, fabrics from the Dollar Tree. and But at my Dollar Tree, they didn't have any. But now look at these, how pretty. And they all go together. Look at how, they, how well they blend. Not that I really worry about colors blending together, but um, oh, look at that with them hummingbirds. That is so pretty. And then these, there's two with the hum, yeah, two the same with the hummingbirds. But then look at this blue and this green, how well that goes with these. Oh my word. This is amazing. Tracy, thank you. I thank you so, so, so very, very much. I am just over the world spoiled on this birthday of mine. I will always remember the year I turned 75. Oh my gosh. Look at all these beautiful things. Look at them. I just love this. I love my little girl. She's so precious. She is so precious. Oh, see, something she did that I haven't done is covered with all the way to the bottom. I've left some feet going on mine, and but she covered even the bottoms, and I like that. Even, even the little feet she's got covered. It's like she's wearing her pajamas. I love her little face, and of course, purple hair. Of course, purple hair. Oh, she even gave her ears. I've never put ears on mine. She even gave her ears. That's this is what happens when you look when when you look at something one day and then you look at it another day and you see all more things on you see more. This is beautiful. You know, I thank each and every one of you so much for oh my gosh, everybody that has This has been a birthday that I mean, building up to my birthday, now I'm officially 75 years old. This is just beautiful. And then there's a man in the plane. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Happy 
Happy birthday to you. Now he's trying to be silly. He's try I'm trying to be all serious, and he's trying to be all silly. He's trying to be just all silly. I lost my silver stick. Oh, you all, oh, you lose it every day, honey. But you got two more, so use the other two. Um. Okay, what was I doing now? I was going to find. Where did I put my? Oh gosh, I wish I could turn my head like it used to turn. Okay, my my reading book. My reading book. I don't have my reading book right here and. Where did I put it? Why do I lose things so easily? Okay. Now. Now that I can't find my reading book. Um, and I got all this stuff piled on my little desk. So I, I'm looking and I don't see it. I keep reorganizing things to make more space. And then I don't get any more space. I just make more mess. Okay, I just want to ask God to watch over each and every one of you. Every step you take, every move you make, keep you safe and secure, keep you happy, healthy, and humble. And again, I thank every one of you that come to my channel. If you've been coming here for years or if you're brand new, you're special. Make new friends, but keep the old. One is, some are silver and the others are gold. But I'm going to keep stitching. Today I'm going to stitch, stitch, stitch. And um, thank you all. And God bless you all. And stitching is what keeps me, keeps, I would say sane, but sometimes I don't know if I'm really sane. But stitching is what, I mean, I'm living in a house of three families. And sometimes things get a little tiny bit, little tiny bit stressful. And I have got my little corner of the world right here in my room. And I just pick up my needle and my thread and I stitch something together, even if it's wrong. Like this one here, it is just a mess. But I stitched it and that stitching that stitching is what keeps me, it, it keeps me on an even keel. And so, yes. And like I said, Gail, I, I say thank you to Gail for my Amazon gift certificate. Thank you so much. Yeah, I need to shop now. But, um, all right. I ask God to watch over you. Like I said, every step you take, every move you make, keep you safe and secure, keep you happy, healthy, and humble. And by all means, stay another day. No matter what, God bless and keep you. And here's my mouse right there. And see you later, alligator. Probably tomorrow, crocodile.